Whoa! That was just an amazing animated intro made by myself. Don't don't ask me how I did it. Um, we start off mercenary team deathmatch on rundown, and this is showcasing um, how can you say it? One man army. Let me say it like that. Um, team, my team is not doing anything in this match. Well, of course they get a couple kills, but they're not, not doing a whole lot of work. I'm going for the um, for the sniper setup intervention with the woodland camo, regular scope. Um, stopping power, uh, PP the rouse is my secondary. Uh, the perks I use are slider hand pro, stopping power pro because I cannot be bothered to aim at the upper body. I just want to shoot them as quick as possible, and steady aim because I hadn't unlocked ninja yet. So I think uh, I just pick steady aim for the sake of it. Um, kill streak setup. Uh, I'm still using the the rank up quick setup. I think I got from Rings of Redemption. Um, Predator missile at five, at seven the Harrier strike, and at eight the Mercy airdrop, which I already discussed why I used that. Um, yeah, let me talk a bit. I'm not gonna talk about um, how to snipe or tips and tricks because I think that's personal preference. You either like to uh, get the shirt off as quick as possible, or you like to aim him up so your accuracy gets better. Um yeah, what can you expect from mercenary team deathmatch? People tend to be more camp happy in mercenary team deathmatches. In my opinion for a couple of reasons. Uh, there's no real tactic. You will not find any organized teams because you can only join the join mercenary team deathmatches if you're in a if you're alone in a party. Um and yeah the communication in uh, if you compare it to a normal team deathmatch is nearly none. So there is a pro for camping as well, and um, yeah, the people I play, I play against, um, take full advantage of that. Um, then I want to discuss something else: the PS3 uh, versus the Xbox Modern Warfare. Um, I recently bought um, the Modern Warfare on the PS3 as well, because a c uh, yeah, a couple of my real life friends uh, played on the on the PS3. There's no really, not really an any people that played on the Xbox near me, I don't know why, but that's just the case. Um, and I think I jumped in it for about two hours now. And in my opinion, um, the multiplayer on the PS3 seems a bit, a bit easier. And yeah, I think it looks a lot like a Mercenary Team Deathmatch because every lobby I've been in, uh, I think a maximum of one or two people had a mic. So there, there you go for the communication and, and uh, um, yeah. First night I ended up with a uh, I think nearly 2.0 ratio, and yesterday I uh, managed to get it up to a 3.2. And I just tend to find it easier to get kills and uh, good scores on the PS3 than I do on Xbox. I could be wrong, and I could just be uh, lucky to get in the the more easy rooms this time, but. That's just my opinion, and um, if anyone uh, played it on both systems, and uh, I would like to hear what you think about it, and if you agree or do not agree, and uh, yeah, just state that in the comment. Um, uh, I also want to discuss something about the player style on Xbox 360 because yeah, that's the the main console I play this uh, this game on, and uh, yeah, in my opinion, it, the the game is getting more and more defensively. Uh, there were a lot of uh, commentators in the, the beginning of um, of the Modern Warfare 2 period that um, they said they hope that uh, the people will start playing more uh, attack-wise and uh, not stay back that long. But I think it's get m it's getting more and more defensively. Yeah, I could be wrong in this case, but it's just uh, something I noticed in playing uh, while playing the last uh, couple of days, last week or so. And um, yeah, I notice it when I I'm most of the time I start of the match uh, quite defensive. When I get around seven or eight kills without any deaths, and as soon as I uh, yeah just uh, walk out of my uh, area I was uh, defending, let me put it that way, I I get shot and um, it's not frustrating or something, but 
I just when after these uh, seven or eight kills and I get my kill streaks up, I just tend to play more um, aggressive. And as soon as you start walking around, you just get pitched off and pitched off by um, yeah by people who are just sitting in corners or in a building shooting from a window. I mean, it's their game. It's uh, they can do whatever they want, but just getting uh, a little bit frustrated, especially the last couple of days. And uh, yeah, I can just notice it in my KD as well. I think I headed up um, to a 3.47, and um, it's now gone down in the last week to a 3.23. So a not a very good week, uh, modern warfare wise for me. Um, yeah, I hope it uh, improves and that people uh, just tend to play uh, play more aggressive and uh, run about a bit. But until then, I uh, just I maybe need to be more patient. Uh, another thing I want to discuss is I'm getting bored rather quick on this game. Um, on Call of Duty 4, I only used to play Surge and Destroy, and now I'm already uh, hopping on different game modes to uh, yeah to keep it interesting. Um, it could be me. Could be me. Um, I think uh, Infinity War should uh, release uh, map packs for this more often than they did on on Call of Duty 4. Just to keep it interesting for everyone, and uh, that they will come back to the game. Um, and yeah, because of it, because it's a sequel, uh, I think that people uh, yeah will lose interest uh, interest uh, quicker than uh, when you first bring out the game. Yeah, this is something uh, Infinity Ward uh, could think about. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Gameplay-wise, on this match, um, I did quite alright. Got my uh, Mercy airdrop a couple times, which was uh, was the main goal. And um, a couple of nice headshots, a couple of nice quick scopes, and even some snow scopes, which I nearly never go for. But I had a couple of them, a couple of them in this this match. Um, yeah, I want to ask the the viewers and um, and listeners maybe for some advice and tips and tricks on the the whole commentating thing because it's still a bit um, how to put that unnatural to me speaking for 10 minutes to a computer screen but oh well I already made a list of uh, stuff to talk about this time so I think it is already an improvement to my last uh, two commentaries I uh, don't do them in one take as well I just uh, take my time for it so uh, I hope they uh, that improve um, yeah another quick fun story I already uh, stated in my uh, description in my uh, older videos that I'm I'm colorblind and I uh, I told a couple of my Xbox buddies, let me put it that way, uh, that I was colorblind and they wouldn't believe me. And they tend to quick that I see the world in black and white, which is not the case at all. But um, yes, I told them and I went off the Xbox and uh, just checked a regular uh, news website, a Dutch news website. And it uh, went to the gaming section and there was a article about that there's a partition going around... Um, for um, color blindness on Modern Warfare 2, um, because of the names that they show above the um, the players, um, I think it's um, red and green, and yeah, for colorblind people, it's just hard to uh, yeah to separate them, uh, especially in a game where you need to make decision uh, split yeah uh, decisions in split seconds. And um, I didn't really pay attention to it because normally I know where the enemy is coming from. But after reading the article and going back on Modern Warfare 2, I um, got killed twice by a enemy that I just didn't notice because of the name. I looked at him but uh, didn't shoot because I, I thought it was a teammate. Um, thank you, colorblindness. Uh, so yeah, I hope Infinity War um, gives, uh, gives me the option to change the, the, na the color of the names. With that, I want to end this commentary and I hope uh, everyone enjoyed it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, that was it. Peace! No, really. Bye.